Here is Keeping Wera. Here is Keeping Wera. And now let's go to our blue player. There he is. Taryn at the top. Using the ID Hope Torture. His opponent Hope hopes torture. he's going to win. And he tortures him to death. It's a very fitting name. Hope Torture, man. Yeah. That's the name he's going to be stuck with on Battle.net for life. <laughs> yeah, hopefully at some point people can change IDs on Battle.net so that people who start out smurfing don't have to get known as this for the rest of his life, especially when you built a career around Into the Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Probe going up pretty quick. Deciding he didn't like that side. I know, he's going to take a little view over here. This and is always smart. Always go by these Zelnaga watchtowers, by the way, guys. And this is actually the same scout pattern that I do with Protoss. I actually go by both Zelnaga uh -huh. watchtowers. Yeah, because if, if they send out any early workers, I see it. Yeah. Always. Oh, no, yeah. I used to do that uh, all the time as Zerg until people figured out that uh, you can force Zerg into going speed every game first. So when you go speed every game first, you don't really need to scout because you're just doing that That's to true. stop whatever craziness they're going to throw at you. That's very true. More probes on the way. That's what right. do these guys have in store for us? I think this is a map where Protoss can do some deadly stuff with the Colossus. Mm. Um... However, you know, there's a lot of stuff that Rainbow can do before the Colossus gets oh, out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, you can scout with a Reaper so easily. He's definitely going to know what's going on if he makes a Reaper. Uh, and at the same time, there's just so many clips to abuse. If he gets Metavax, like, where are you going to actually expand to that he can't drop on top and hit your probes? Nowhere, Tasteless. Nowhere. Nowhere. As you can see, probe on the move again. And that's kind of a funny... Uh, difference from StarCraft 1 to StarCraft 2 Terran versus Protoss. As Terran, oftentimes you can abuse the mobility of Protoss, which was basically the entirety of PvT in StarCraft 1. Right, right. Terran was the strong, heavy damage dealing army that was slow. Protoss was agile. Um, Terran stayed the same except for the slow part. <laughs> Here's the um, gateway with Simon X4. Nothing too interesting yet. We haven't really even shown what these guys have in store. Looks like he's storing up some charges. Maybe get warp gate out a little bit faster. Yeah, I think so. Oh, never yep, mind. Gotta get a stalker out. Wants to get a stalker out super fast. And that's a good idea. You know, a lot of times people will make a Reaper on this map. Yeah. And you want that stalker so you don't lose too many probes. We see a Marauder first. But that second, uh, well, no, it's a factory actually, so. Factory being built. And a second gas being gotten by Terran. And a Reaper being made. There's that Reaper. I love that Reaper on this map. She's so great for scouting. You know, the Reaper, I swear to God, has the same voice as that guy from House. Really? I've, I swear to God. I, 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 I play almost 100% the Korean version, so I actually don't know what his voice if you, is. If you pl play the English version. I, I played the English version when I was uh, playing the campaign. Yeah. Which is awesome, by the way. campaign is so fun. Um... Yeah, the Reaper just sounds like the guy from House. Can't can't get over it. Okay, Stalker heading towards him. He gets a bunker up, and the Reaper sneaking around the side here. Stalker has to run away. Meanwhile, the Reaper making a beeline to the Protoss base. And he's going to be able to scout whatever is going on. He could even get some probes. Yeah, definitely. Sentry is oh, going he out. He get a Sentry in some probes. He could assassinate the Sentry right when it comes out. At Stalker in the wrong place at the wrong time, but no. Why is he just sitting there? Here we go. This. Nice. Going after some probes. And the sentry in hot pursuit. I don't know if I do that. It is a light unit the Reaper can take out very, very fast. Oh, nice. Force but, field. Yeah, it doesn't do any of that. And I don't even know if he scouted. Did he scout that? No, he never saw this. He did not see that. So, uh, did not see the robo. Has no idea what's going on. He's actually got two bunkers. You can see he's concerned about a four gauge. Yeah, yeah, you know, everything was blocked, but actually those bunkers are pretty much the least useful thing in the world right now. Banshees on uh, on the way too here. Banshees are pretty good. Yeah, they're they're okay. <laughs> Banshees actually could deal damage so quickly it's insane. Yeah. And you know, if you just if you don't have detection when they come, you lose so many probes, it's like the DT from StarCraft 1, really. It's crazy, Taren man. gonna feed Protoss some of his own medicine, man. It's gonna be scarier if the Banshee actually shot DTs out of it. <laughs> they like a Broodlord? <laughs> like a DTs? Oh my, that would be <laughs> oh wild. God, that would be terrifying. He has the Observer, he sees 
what's coming his way. Very nice. It's a much better scouting error from keeping wear of. Mm, you know, when you scout that Banshee, you can suddenly counter it very, very hard. And, you know, all of a sudden, that Banshee build doesn't look so hot. You don't do a lot of damage to that Banshee. It costs you so much to get that Banshee out with the cloak. But keeping wear, look at this, getting plenty of stalkers, has the observer. No problem, Bob. And here we have the observer again going back here. So these guys are both one base pretty heavily. Looks like he almost made a forge, but no, he's going to get a Stargate. The robotics bay down here. Now, if you remember, uh, last time we saw Protoss go like every tech at once, which he's not doing quite yet, but if you make too many techs off one base, you might not have enough units to stop whatever push is coming. Yeah, it's true. You okay. got to be careful about that. Here's the Cloak Banshee. He is going to spot the Phoenix as well. And starting to get probes. Very nice. Already getting a lot of kills. The observer's on the way, but he. Oh, ah, he's gonna Will he get out of there? Oh! Wow, those stalkers. Remind me of Dragoons from Starcraft 1. They are pretty similar. I don't know if you should be doing this. Yeah, that, that was actually. Was, oh, oh horrible my god. Idea. Actually, but the observer goes the wrong way. That's okay. This Banshee will eventually run out of energy. Just follow it with that. Uh, with that Phoenix. He's gonna get it. By the way, expansion's up here. Let's see if he does get the Banshee. Uh-oh. Only 10 more seconds left. Oh, no. Imagine knowing your cloak is about to wear off and there's a Phoenix right outside your door and you're already on fire and stuff. Oh! Get some, That's that would it, suck. Man. That'd be a terrible way to go. Hope yourself. Be having works. like a panic attack yeah. inside the banshee. I got my paper bag up in my mouth. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go <laughs> Drop down the this. oxygen mask. <laughs> Turn on your cell phone on the airplane and say goodbye to your family. <laughs> I like this unit composition. A lot of Marines Very and Marauder. Nice. That Raven. The Raven's so good early game against uh, Protoss. Using that point defense drone can just be completely game changing. And I love the expansion he took, by the way. That's he, does like have, he does have Phoenix he's over here in the main. Uh, he's uh, he's going to pick up any mules. Does not look like he will. You know, the Marines, they protect that uh, Banshee, they protect that Raven, and they do 6-6 six, six DPS. It's quite so, impressive. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the unit composition we're seeing here, but Colossus is coming out. Perfect, perfect tech switch right now. Yep. He's got to go Colossus to deal with those Marines. Otherwise, the Banshees will eat him up because the Phoenixes won't be able to hit them. He's got three uh, Phoenixes out. He's just continuing to scout. Is he going to grab a mule? That's what I kind of anticipated he would do. He's not. Marine's too close there. Yeah. Cannot risk losing a Phoenix right now. Every unit is so important. He's keeping them alive. Let's see? Nice command center there as well. Good place to expand. Pretty safe overall. You know, that natural base can just be harassed in so many ways. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Another Banshee out. He's cloaked. It's interesting that he flies him out cloaked to try to get past the uh, ever-patrolling Phoenix. He might be trying to just do some scouting instead of damage. Mm. Could be worth it, too. You know, scanning with a mule costs so much money. I know. There's a cannon going up. Going to kill this cannon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope. He knows that it's out. Phoenix is a returning back home. And he's going to be able to see all the tech of the Protoss finally. Just try to run away the Colossus. He doesn't want him to see how many Colossus he has. He's accepted that Banshee's going down. He had shift clicked it on the probes to kill as many as possible so that he could go back to his base and not worry about it. More barracks here. Staying very bio heavy. Now, this yeah. is going to be tough um, because, of course, the Colossus can run over yeah. areas like this. He can run up stuff like that, go up into your base like that. So. Mm -hmm. I bet he wishes he had that Banshee. Banshees, of course, as well as Vikings, pretty decent against that Colossus unit. Yeah, and that's why he got those few Phoenixes. So I don't know if Fits of the Rainbow is going to be in good shape this time around. Yeah, this this could be a very, very hard battle, but it looks like he wants to break out here as well. Protoss at the same time. Protoss is going to be like, okay, go ahead. I have Colossus. And he runs away from it. So I guess he didn't really want to break out those rocks. He only wanted to do it because his opponent was doing it. Very nice harassment here by the Colossus. I mean, what are you supposed to do against this? This is very, this very is hard tough. with the unit. Here he comes! Nice! Right here. He's targeting with the Colossus. The wrong thing here. And look at this. That Colossus not being micro back in time. Running forward. Can he remove all these units? Oh my god! Nice play! 
He wipes wow. it out. Whoa. Wow. Keeping uh, Wera was not paying attention there. He had targeted the Quasi on the command center, and then he didn't micro them back. Micro his units almost none during that battle. Good moves by Into the Rainbow. You know what's funny is that if, they, if he had one or two more good Colossus shots, the game would have looked very different. Mm, definitely, definitely. Uh-oh. And if we take a look at the resource tab real quick, not very good macro here from Keeping Wera. Got over a thousand minerals right now. He's about 40 supply behind. Uh, he's in for some tough times. Here he goes, he stibs, he's committed. And here we go, there's a Colossus in there. And he just targets it, it never gets run back. Gets totally owned. And that looks like that's about it, man. These rainbow games are the most one-sided games in the whole tournament. This is unbelievable. Rainbow gonna move on to the round of 16. Easily. Next goes down GG. Oh my god. Wow. Totally, wow. totally owned. But I felt like keeping Wera, you know, he had a really good unit composition overall. Uh, it's too bad that he really, and we see he's very unhappy with that. Oh, crushing to be. Extremely, extremely unhappy with that. Too bad. You know, he's a good player, definitely. He had good unit compositions. Yeah. But I mean, the rainbow is pretty monstrous. You know, I've seen so much more passion um, in the faces of these players after the games than I ever saw doing the Gum to be Classic. Yeah. Uh, StarCraft 1 Pro Gamers, StarCraft 2 Pro Gamers. Definitely different levels of emotion there. Yeah. Uh, they're really bearing it a lot more here. Yeah. Uh, a lot less in StarCraft 1, so I don't know. It's, a, it's pretty, definitely pretty an accurate uh, observation. It's true, by it's true man. Yeah. And uh, Into the Rainbow is such a baller. I don't know about his ID, though. Hope Torture. Uh, <laughs> But if you look, he, he made it to the round of 16. He could get to the round of 8. I don't know how far he's going to go because we don't know much about this guy. Uh, you know, as far as his training habits, we don't you – know, he's keeping it all kind of private. But yeah, I'm going to have to ask him that. To, he'll pull him up, pull him aside after the interview, put him up against the wall, do some Batman stuff, swear he to me. He doesn't speak English. So. <laughs> he's like, he has no idea what I'm doing. Uh, he just gets <laughs> really this scared. giant white guy? <laughs> doesn't come back for the round of 16 because no, he's, he's scared. He, but he's such a mystery player. Really, he is. Like – Hmm. It's uh, it's it's really interesting to see him here because we didn't even know he was gonna be here the starting day of yeah. round of sixty four. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god, this guy actually could. He could be, he's like another favorite. Yeah, I mean, assume he's he definitely is another favorite. He's, I he's, mean, he's beating Colossus with uh, infantry. It's pretty pretty cool. We're gonna close this out, guys. We'll be back in a minute.